Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this makeup look. I've used a lot of new products in this video to create this look. So if you want to know how all these products worked, then do continue watching this video. And before getting into the video, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to subscribe and also don't forget to hit on the bell icon. And if you're not following me in my Instagram page, then this is my Insta handle. Do check out my Instagram page and follow me there as well. So yes, without further ado, let's quickly jump into the video. So for moisturizer, I'm going to use this Aquilogica Hydrate Plus Gel Moisturizer. Now this one is a super matte primer from Revolution. Next, I'm going to go in with an orange corrector for which I'll be using this pack take cover concealer in shade rusty orange, I guess. Yeah, rusty orange. So yeah, let's quickly do this color correcting part and then we can jump on to the next step. So I'm going to blend this color corrector with my fingers. I'm not going to use any uh, sort of blending tool. Yes, now I have color corrected my face really well. Next, I'm quickly going to go ahead and use a foundation. I'm going to use this foundation. Now, this one is the Huda Beauty Fox Filter Foundation Stick. So, my shade in this foundation is 430 and Gingerbread. I'm going to go in sections. That's it, I'm done with my foundation. Next, I'm going to apply a concealer to highlight my under eye area and the spots where well. I need a little bit of highlighting. For this, again, I'm going to use this Kuda Beauty Overachiever Concealer. In this concealer, I'm going to use a shade called Peanut Butter, which is the shade number 24G. Now, this is not an exact skin match. It's kind of highlighting shade. If you want slight bit of lifting effect, you can add it here. This will dry quite easily, so I need to blend it really quick. Next, I'm going to go in with a blush. So for blush, I'm going to go in with this one. Now, this one is the LA Girl Soft Matte Green Blush in shade Hot Shot. Now, this blush is in this shade. I'm not sure how it's going to show up. It's, it's too red. I think I took a lot of product. It's very very pigmented. I don't know what I'm going to do with this balance thing. So 
so yeah you have to be really really light handed don't go overboard now what i'm going to try is i'm going to take a very little quantity of this blush and apply it try applying it on my lips so now we are done with all the cream products like the cream blush foundation concealer and all those things next we are going to set the entire face now this one is the nyx can't stop own stop banana powder now i'm going to set my entire face using this powder wow this is really good and a very little quantity goes long way So that's it we are done with setting our face with a really nice loose powder next i'm going to use a bronzer for which i'm going to use this one this one is the la girl matte bronzer in shade lost in paradise now this is a really huge palette and this is how the shade looks like this is how it looks but let me quickly apply it on my skin and check whether it's a really good bronzer for deeper complexion or not Okay, now this bronzer is not this really nice warm toned kind of shade. Now this is not a warm toned uh, bronzer. Now this one is a you no know, cool toned bronzer. I'm not sure like cool tone. We don't call it as a bronzer. If it's cool tone, it falls in a contouring shade. It's a really nice contouring shade for deeper complexion. But then it's not a bronzer for deeper complexion bronzer is something which adds warmth to your skin uh, i don't think that it does add a little bit of warmth to my skin but as of now this is a really nice contouring shade but you don't have to buy it you guys this is a really huge pan and it retails for 1050 bucks i got it during offer time but but if you are planning to buy this one I will never suggest you because this is hell a lot of product for a bronzer you don't need this much of bronzer if you have a very little pan of bronzer that is pretty much enough next i'm going to start working on my eye area i'm going to start with my eyebrows for which i have the huda beauty micro precision eyebrow pencil i'm in shade number eight and the shade name is soft black Next for my eyebrows, I'm going to use this one. Now this one is the Huda Beauty Palm Brows Eyebrow Gel. This eyebrow gel has fibers in it. So if you have sparse areas, this is going to fill it. And I forget to mention the shade name. Now again, this is in the shade number 8 and the shade name is Soft Black. So I'm quickly going to fill in my eyebrows using this eyebrow gel. So that's it. I'm done with my eyebrows. I absolutely love this eyebrow product. They are really, really good. So yes, next I'm going to do my eye makeup for which I'm going to use this eyeshadow palette from Huda Beauty. Now this one is the Huda Beauty Kaki Haze eyeshadow palette. And this eyeshadow palette has really stunning shades. So first I'm going to start off with this shade. Then I'm going to take this shade and slightly intensify the outer corner. Now I'm going to take this shade and apply it. So that's it, I'm done with my eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to use a thin layer of eyeliner, for which I'm going to use this K Beauty eyeliner.
that I'm done with my eye makeup next I'm going to use a lipstick for which I'm going to use this Huda Beauty Power Bullet Crim Lipstick in shade Habibi now before using this lipstick I'm quickly going to define my lips using a lip liner for which I'm going to use this uh, Daily Life Forever 52 lip liner in shade dark brown Now I'm going to apply this lipstick. So that's it we are done with this makeup look and this is how it finally turned out i absolutely love this look i have quickly added a oxidized silver choker set to just add a little bit of extra element to the look so yes hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video if you really like this video please give a big thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please take a moment to subscribe so next time with another beautiful content i'll meet you guys and let's bye from priya bye bye